Alright, it's January 13th. If I can get this fucking thing to fucking cinch down without switching over to me. I keep switching the fucking screen over. Fucking shit. Get it to stay on the front, not fucking facing me. Alright. I hope it's tight enough. Without it falling out or anything. So. Battery's already hooked up. Yeah. FedEx is taking off from Brandy's house. Yeah. I'm toying with the idea of just going through my land instead of going all the way down to the road. But I don't know. I don't know if I should put on a jacket or not. Yeah, I'm gonna go get my jacket because I'd rather fucking be overdressed than under. So I'll be right right now. Just in case. Got gloves too. Just in case. Alright. Do I have the balls to go that way? Fuck it. Well, let's do it. Right, brakes working good. Fucking. Yeah. I've never been this way in my life. Pick up the motherfucking wow. Let's go down to our little ditch. Little half pipe. <laughs>
Friday the 13th. It's just a fucking day. It's just a duh fucking number. What happened last Friday? Well, that's right. It's fucking nothing. It's just a fucking day. I think I see deer. I think. Could be cows. Probably cows. Snow melted, so I don't have to fucking slip and slide all over the fucking hill. But it doesn't look like much of it did stuff did melt, so Let's see how this goes. Fucking good. This is my 
too cold man average temperature for like the past two or three weeks or a month has been like 25 at the highest I don't know what that is in Celsius I don't think it matter. nobody ever comments on any of the shit I fucking do on here and I looked at the analytics and fucking it was like 2% of the people that watch my shit watch it from like Indonesia or fucking some shit like Singapore I don't know they probably just get tired of me bitching but it doesn't fucking matter cause I'm all the fuck by myself all the time to get paranoid <laughs> I filled up a fucking some butane lighter but I don't think it's So yeah, I came up, I got like a bucket of this shit. I don't know, I think I'm really fucking naive, I just don't really realize it. But I wanted to turn... some of what I got <laughs> into something tangible, <coughs> something I can use. <coughs> sleep this morning knowing that I was going to do this so all I got to do is cut it up I don't know if how much is in there that's really all that worth listening to but I think there is <clears throat> snap rag because I'm fucking stupid. Yeah. Should be able to do taxes next month. Next month is going to be interesting. Hopefully we'll be able to do taxes. And I got to go to the eye doctor. And I don't have to. I told her that I should because 
getting harder to see. And I don't know how much of that is fucking genetic fucking predisposition to having fucked up vision. Because my dad's pretty fucked up visually too, with glasses and contacts and all that stupid shit. But and then the fucking diabetes. Oh, which which is which? Which is making me lose my vision? Hopefully, it's the genetic shit, because that's not gonna fucking leave me seeing eye dog blind. While the diabetes will leave me fucking blind, and you might as well fucking kill yourself at that point, because man, come on now, You're supposed to live your life without being able to fucking see. How am I supposed to put pods on, man? Fuck that. Anyway, so, taxes, hopefully, be able to get a fucking trailer or camper or something, because I fucking need it, this shit with the tent, or the tarps and all that, it's just not going to work, it's not going to stay, the sun just eats right through that shit, it only takes like a summer, and I need to get all my tools and all the bikes and all that shit into a place where it won't get fucked with. camper potentially could have a place to lay down and sit just put a fucking heater in there and fucking I I had to get a new temperature controlled outlet like it's a little I guess it's a thermometer but it's like on a like a line so you can put the fucking temperature probe wherever the fuck you want, and when it gets to a certain temperature, one of the plugs will turn on to turn on the heater, or in the other direction, if it gets too hot, it'll turn on the other plug and turn on the air conditioner. Don't have an air conditioner, so I'll have the fucking heater, and I think that might be the only time I, because I'll probably keep the magic shack or the place where I grow the plants and just where it is. I don't need to fucking grow inside of the trailer or camp or any of that shit. So that saves room. So that way I could just use the camper for getting the fuck out of the house and for working on the bikes and shit. Tools. And I don't know. I, I don't think it'll cost that much. But right now we ain't got nothing. So. I mean, I would if I was a drug dealer, but I'm not a drug dealer. Well, who the fuck am I going to sell to? The fucking cows? I ain't that type of motherfucker, man. Selling shit? Or fuck that. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm lazy because of the weed or if I'm just lazy. No, I can get shit done if I have to. I don't have to, so... Why? Sound like your car, but in a direction that doesn't really make any sense. Well, whatever. Yeah, I finally hit three thousand followers. Finally, but I say finally and I take some pride because I didn't do shit to like, like you can promote, like you gotta spend money, man, fuck that, I'm not spending any goddamn money, and fucking TikTok, like, it's like that fucking commercial with fucking Mayhem, He's all doing shit on the sidewalk, and he's like, this is going to get tens of views. Like, yeah, that's like, no, for reals, I only get, like, maybe fucking ten views. Well, I'll get, like, 300 views, three, four hundred views, and get, like, eight likes. <laughs> I don't know why. Am I abrasive? Motherfuckers don't, like, look at my stupid ass? I don't know. Would I play socks? Well, marginally, but still, I'm not playing fucking... Slayer or fucking other people's shit. That's mine. I just made it up. I can't remember anything. So. I just 
just make some shit up and then it's gone. I won't remember it unless I accidentally do it again. So I got all the way up to 3,000 with just that shit. So I'm a little proud of that. <clears throat> Not by much. Because don't nobody give a fuck. That doesn't mean shit to anybody. Sort of like me telling fucking women that my fucking dick doesn't work. Like to pee. I get fucking hurt. And I'm only 41. I'm a little bit scared of what it's going to be like when I'm 50. Because they can say, oh, your prostate gets all fucking large or whatever when you're old. It's like, what the fuck does that mean? I'm already down to a trickle, and that's just fucking because I fucking damaged all my shit. I'm still really pissed about that. I mean, I have to be every fucking time I take a piss. Alright, I figured out a way to fucking equate it to something for females. It'd be like if you're sitting on the fucking can trying to take a fucking leak, and the, the more the, the stream gets full and you, like, relax completely, the more you get to that point, somebody's sticking a fucking paper, or a, yeah, paper clip or a fucking toothpick under your fingernails. And the more it, it's relieving, the more they stick it in. So you just kind of, ah, you just stop because... It hurts, and you're afraid to do it again because it hurts. The more relieving it becomes for you, the more you get stabbed under the fucking fingernails. Specifically, under the fingernails. That's how intense it is for, for a guy. So, that happened and continues to happen. I'm going to fucking have to deal with that shit till I'm dead, too. But like I said, I'm just hoping it'll get worse. If I have to drink a lot of water, you just do. And fucking today's Friday, so I'll be drinking. That's why you also need to drink water. But drinking makes you piss a lot, and fuck, it, it's it hurts. And it's like I think about it, and I can't remember a time when I wasn't in that type of fucking situation before I was 28. Jesus Christ. I don't remember what it was like to just freely just take a fucking leap. Damn. It's been that long I've fucking had to fucking fear this shit. Sometimes it really hurts. Other times it doesn't, but it can. So you gotta be fucking scared that it's gonna... I'm getting followed around by a motherfucking rabid mountain lion. I don't know if mountain lions can get rabid. Rabies? I don't know, probably. Raccoons can get it. Shit. <sighs> Fucking pie hurts. I mean, I say, I always say they always hurt, but, and they do. But sometimes they hurt immensely, like a, when they first go in, and then it'll kind of die down and then just be kind of comfortable ish for the next two days. Sometimes, like this one, it goes on, you don't even feel it. You're like, ah, that didn't even hurt. Like, what the fuck? So that's what it's supposed to be like. And you're happy, whatever. But then, like, fucking the next day, it's like you can't even breathe without it fucking hurting. So that's where it's at right now. Not to put too much like pressure on that side, clothing wise. Uh, how could I be fucking all yawning and shit when I just woke up? I don't know. I have been going to my fucking dream worlds lately, and it's dope as fuck over there. I actually ordered a hamburger, not last night, the night before. I got to the place on a bike, except for it was more like a fucking BMX bike, and it was felt like I was me now, but it was like more like teenager time, because the feel of the environment felt like high school for me, <laughs> even though I didn't know or recognize this place, and I 
remember ordering the hamburger, but I don't remember eating it. I wasn't diabetic. That's good. And then I saw Nick's car driving to his house fast. I was like, damn, what's wrong with him? It was in a dream. And then that day he texted me. So that's weird too. What the fuck was I going to say about this shit? Oh yeah, the movie idea. It made me think of an idea. Like, well, that could be a good television show or a movie. It's like, all right, you go to sleep, you go to your dream world, and you're fucking having the best time ever. And then you wake up, and it's like one of those dreams where you go through the rest of the day and you just keep remembering certain points in the dream or a feeling, the way it felt there, or something along those lines. And then you go to sleep the next night and it's fucking even more the same th shit. You wake up the next day and you go to work and it's even more like, fuck, I can't shake away this this dream. It was so good. And that continues for like a week. Until finally the motherfucker is asleep in the dream and kind of realizes, holy shit, this is the dream world. And I'm able to think. Like, I guess that's lucid dreaming, but... That's why it should be a good movie. Because that shit's real. And then it ends up, eventually becomes... Uh, he has to fucking make the decision of whether or not to just fucking stay over there. Until the vessel dies or whatever. Or, you know, live your life in reality. Yeah, relationships and fucking uh, social interactions, etc., etc. Uh, just an idea, like sort of like Freddy Krueger, but not a fucking not a horror film. my dream world, I'm not fucking diabetic. It's pretty sweet. I could just eat a goddamn hamburger without the fucking worry about shit. I mean, obviously, there's holes in these plot lines, because if you're not diabetic in your dreams, you are in reality. But... I can't even sleep without getting insulin. <clears throat> I'll wake up fucking at like fucking five or six hundred. It feels really, really good to be high outside. Because we don't have like these kind of trees on our property. I mean, we have pine trees. They just don't look like this. Like the branches don't come this far down. Or maybe. Fuck, I don't know. I guess we do. <laughs> I have trees up here. But I haven't ridden. It's the only exercise I get. Pedaling. Like pedaling up this hill. But it was really easy. I gotta get the bag. Yeah, I hope that by fucking the end of February, March, I have a place to put my project. And a place to finish it. All I need to do is get the rack and the bag that I'm gonna put all the shit in. The fucking battery and the fuck control controller. Anything else that needs to go in there. And then just wire it up and then test it and then hope for fuck's sake that the brakes will be good enough. I really hope they will, because I don't, I, yeah, uh, I, I want to get the same motor for this bike, so like this one could be fast, because 
<clears throat> the wheel in the back for the uh, the motor has the capability of having the fucking rotor from the or having a rotor <laughs> doesn't have to be the one from this bike because this one has a rotor but I had to replace it because it's all bent and shit so I could take that off of this slow ass fucking motor and put it on the fast one and then that way I'd have disc brake which would work better I think uh, for the power that that motor is going to have and then I'm gonna have to, I'd have to dismantle everything, like take the battery, the dock, and all those wires and all that shit from this bike. I take it all off because the other one comes with all its own shit. So I'd have to rewire everything. Yeah, it'd be pretty fun though because I'd already have, will have done it with the bike that I'm working on right now. But I'd really like to have a fucking place I could comfortably go into to work on this shit. So. I hope we can get that done this year. A place to fucking hang out with people that I don't hang out with. <laughs> the, the homie Chris hit me up last week. And then I got, I didn't see it until like Sunday, so I hit him back. And he didn't say shit yet, so. I don't know, they live in a different world that I don't, I'm not part of, so, I don't have that shit anymore, and I'm super stoked about that, but, yeah, you're just by yourself, there's like one other person that lives in this world, like I do, but, I don't know. She's intent on sleeping every last second of it away. Which I don't blame her, because fuck, man. But I don't know. I I love my dream world. But I just can't fucking sleep that much. I just can't. Get to a certain point, and it's like, fuck, alright. Now what? <laughs> Gotta get the fuck up. I mean, I can't, because I can't physically do it. I have to take things in. I have to eat something. So, I don't know. Just with that one and only person just asleep, that just means I'm, I'm here. And I don't know none of these motherfuckers. And I'm pretty sure all of them have fucking kids and they're done. If you have kids or a cross around your fucking neck, there's no fucking way you're gonna like me. No way. I gotta bite my fucking tongue not to say something to fucking let you know that I fuck you. Know. Fucking cattle decapitation. I'm supposed to have a new album this fucking month. It's called fucking Terracite. That's a perfect name. That's what we all are. Every last fucking one of us is a fucking Terracite. And the ones that are willing to stand up and say, yeah, I'm fucking just as rotten as the rest of you. The more you're just like pushed aside, it's always a fuck yourself. I don't say that shit, but I, it's, it's what motivates my intent. I'll help motherfuckers, but man, we are shit. Fucking humans. At least this version of the humans. Humanoids. Evolution takes too fucking long. And that's ridiculous to even think because if you live for a hundred years, that's nothing in, in the scheme of time. Speaking of, there's a fucking comet, asteroid, body of rock, I don't know, uh, passing by Earth close enough to see, they say. With the naked eye, I don't understand that because I looked out there and I didn't see shit, but I'm blind, so I guess that makes sense. Fucking, but anyway, it only happens, well, 
only in the on the time scale for, for the universe it happens every 50,000 years last time we were like fucking cavemen and shit neanderthals neanderthals i think is the the exact pronunciation of that shit but straight up encino man that 